All right, guys, 2020 Eagle Man here today, back with another video. Today, I'm just going to be going through a bunch of new cards that are going to be added to my collection. Uh, these are just going to be all the relics and autographs that I've just received. And I just kind of want to show them off real quick um, before I put them into the boxes and kind of store them away. And so we'll just start out with the relics real quick. Uh, a few jersey patches here. Um, no particular order. Just kind of throwing them out there. So this is Garrett Atkins from Upper Deck Masterpieces. Uh, here's CC Sabathia from 2015 Allen and Ginter. Here's Eric Chavez from Finest. That's a cool looking card, actually. I like that one. Actually, I'll put the CC back in here. That's a pretty neat one as well. That's a really good looking card, I think. And then, who else we got? Bobby Crosby out of 325. Ellis Andrus from Clubhouse Collection, Tops Heritage. What year is this? This is 2013, yeah. And then Garrett Cole, also from Tops Heritage, 2016. And then also from 2016, Justin Upton. It's the uh, holiday one, which is pretty cool. And then here's Reggie Jackson. That one's really nice. Uh, pretty bland border on this card, though. But it is Reggie Jackson, Hall of Famer. Pretty nice looking card, I think. Um, here's some of those diamond collections. I already have a few patches of from the diamond collection from Donruss. This is from 2017. Yeah, 2017. This is of Gavin Setchini from New York Mets, I think. Yeah, haven't really heard of the guy though. And then Michael Kadire from Upper Deck. This looks like 2010. Okay, 2010. Pretty nice. We'll set these this stack aside. Keep going. So this is the rest of the relics here. We'll get to the autographs real quick. This is Vernon Wells from Alan Ginter 2012. It's a nice looking card. Here's a few more of these. This is two Ryan Ther Theriot. I'm sorry, I don't know the guy's name. From Chicago Cubs, 2012 Alan Ginter as well. Really nice looking cards. Uh, here's a printing plate. I don't know how this snuck in there actually. Uh, one of one, this is the Magenta. Printing plate of Drew Ward from 2014 Bowman. So pretty neat. It's my first printing plate actually. So I've been wanting to get one for my collection. Nice looking card there. Excited about that one. Uh, starting to get into the bat relics now. So here's Josh Hamilton from Topps Turkey Red. Uh, Turkey Red is an awesome set. Um, if you get a chance to kind of flip through some cards from Turkey Red. Tops did a great job with that set. I think it looks really cool. Some, so It's a nice checklist as well. So definitely take a look at Turkey Red if you get a chance. Uh, here's Gary Sheffield, the chef. Piece of the game from SP Authentic or just SP? I don't know. I get confused with those upper neck uh, sets they put out sometimes. This is from SP, Gary Sheffield. Um, Gary Sheffield does get a lot of love in the hobby. Wish he got a little bit more, but... Uh, Logan Morrison, Bat Kings from 20, oh, 14, I thought it was 2015. Uh, 2015 Donruss, Bat Kings, Logan Morrison. And here's a, f a few memorabilia. Oh, what are these things called? Like, um, those commemorative patches, commemorative cards. Oh, uh, this is of Chipper Jones. This one's got some weight to it. As you can see, it's a really thick card. Thick card stock. It's also, like, a, a decently heavy card. But, uh, Chipper Jones recently inducted into the Hall of Fame. Uh, pretty neat mem uh, commemorative card there. And lastly, Josh Donaldson, Jackie Robinson Day card. Pretty simple one there. And then now we're going to get into the autograph cards. Let's see what we got here. Got a really big stack of these autograph cards. We'll start off with this uh, Clear the Authentic card from Tops. This is 2017 Jareel Cotton. It's his rookie card. Haven't heard of the guy, but it's his rookie card, so he's still young. So hopefully he can make a little bit more noise in the big leagues. And most of these names I haven't heard of from the, uh, here's the stack of cards we're going through. I haven't heard of most of these names, but we'll still go through them quick. Now, uh, Hobie Milner, Collegiate National Team from Tops, 2011, numbered out of 99. We got Pat Klein, Signature Series from Donruss, 1998. So still getting some old stuff there. Kettle Marte from the Diamondbacks, Sticker Auto. Jose Cruz Jr. This is, I think it's from Archives. 2016 Archives. Not too sure. Um, 
And then we got D'Angelo Mack from Donner's Elite 2010, numbered out of 819. It's a sticker auto. Another sticker auto, Dennis Sarfarte, rookie. That one looks really cool out of 250 from 2007 tops. Uh, this one was really neat. I've never seen a card like this before. Uh, Leaf Trinity 2014, Bo Burrows. On card auto out of 40. Uh, it's a neat looking card because it's not like your typical um, paper feel. It's like the entire card's like acetate and it's also really thick. So it's a really neat looking card. I like that one. Moving on, we got uh, Cameron Varga on card auto from Bowman Chrome 2014. And then from Topps Heritage, Rob's, Rob Ref Snyder rookie card. So this one's pretty neat. Yankee Rookie Auto is always nice to have. We'll replace him with the Chef. So that's a nice looking auto right there. And then also from Heritage, we got Tyler Glassnow Rookie, 2017. Pretty nice. And then Joel Zumaya Rookie Card from Tops 52 on card auto. Not numbered, but still a really, really cool card. I like that Joel Zumaya card a lot. Uh, moving on, here's a, looks like it was Redemption, out of 99, Tyler J, Sticker Auto from Bowman's Best, 2015. And then a pretty crazy signature here from Bowman Chrome, 2014, this is Gabriel Yinoa. Again, a lot of these names not too familiar with, but that's okay, they're still part of the collection. Uh, Jeremy Bonderman, Auto, this is a really cool looking card, this is Don Zenith from 2010, I think? No, from 2005, so a little bit earlier. Uh, this is numbered out of 200. Really cool looking set that Donruss put out. This was of Jeremy Bonderman, so nice looking card there. I'll put uh, the clearly authentic card back down right there. And then we got Michael Fulmer from Bowman Sterling. Sticker auto out of 199 from 2011. Garrett Richards, Bowman Platinum on card auto from 2011 as well. Bowman autos always look great. Uh, here's a Bowman Sterling. This is Kevin Zayamek from 2013. Again, most of these autos, again, I, I don't know most of their names, but uh, they came pretty cheap in the lot. So I can't complain once you get autos that are just thrown in there. Uh, McKay McBride, rookie. Sticker out out of $3.99 from SP Authentic, 2006. Uh, here's a Bowman Chrome on card. Yeah, on card auto, Jose Azacar. This is from 2017. So he's still got a chance. Make some noise. Got another Bowman Sterling here. This is of Cord Sandberg from 2013. On card auto. Another Bowman Sterling from 2013. This is of Jacob May. Uh, here's a Topps Heritage Miners of Tommy Murphy from 2014. Yep. 2014 sticker auto. Here's one of my favorite autos that I got is uh, Danny Salazar from Topps Heritage Miners from 2013. Danny Salazar pitched for the Indians. So I'm a huge Indians fan. Nice to get one of his uh, prospect autos when he was in the Miners. It's a pretty nice card to get there for me at least. Uh, here's a Matt Olson Bowman Chrome on card auto from 2015. And then we also have a Max Kepler Rookie Auto from Topps Chrome 2016. Numbered out of 99 is the green parallel. So nice looking card here. I like this one a lot. And now we have two last two cards here. This one I really like a lot. It's one of my favorites uh, from this whole video, I think. This is a Greg Bird Sticker Auto Relic out of 50 from 2016. So this was his rookie year. Definitely a cool card. I'm not like a huge Greg Bird collector, but uh, I do have a decent amount of his rookie cards. This was a really nice card to see uh, come flying through the collection. So numbered out of 50. like this one a lot. And lastly, there's another Relic card. This is a dual Relic Auto. Chris Oakey, um, numbered out of 99. This is from Panini USA Baseball from 2012. Again, a really great looking card. So there you guys have it. That is the collection of autos and relics that are being added to my whole collection. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. If you guys did, go ahead and subscribe for more videos to come. And I'll see you guys next time.